Meet my family. This is my mum, my dad, my brother and me. My brother and I have lived on the northern beaches all of our lives, but my family has come a long way to get here. The Gagan family, or my mum's family, come from Carlo. Carlo is a small town in Ireland, about halfway between Dublin and Cork. My mum's dad, William, was the youngest of ten children and worked in an abattoir. My mum's mum, Tess, was the youngest of eleven children and stayed at home to look after her kids. In 1961, the Gagans became part of the Ten Pound Pond Migration Scheme, aiming to find a better life in Australia away from the religious conflicts in Ireland. From 1945 to 1972, over a million United Kingdom migrants travelled to their new Australian homeland on board ships. Known as the Ten Pound Poms, this mass exodus was a scheme devised by the Australian and British governments in order to help populate Australia. The normal cost of passage to Australia was about £120. The Australian government subsidised £110 of this, meaning immigrants were only paying £10 to get here. £10 then is the equivalent of approximately $340 today, which was a lot of money for my mum's family. For six months prior to their journey, my mum's dad went over to England to work in the coal mines to save enough money to pay the fare. However, only adults had to pay the fare and children were given free passage when travelling with their parents. This was very helpful to my mum's family as it meant that the nine children in their family at the time could travel for free. The 11 members of the Gagan family embarked on their trip from England on the SS Orion on the 20th of December 1961. My auntie Jackie remembers the ship ride fondly, saying that there were three hot meals provided every day. It was the first time her mum ever had a babysitter, and they even had a party when they crossed the equator. But she also remembers the sunburn and the seasickness suffered by all of the family members. The Gagan family arrived in Sydney on Australia Day, the 26th of January 1962, after their six-week boat journey. Six weeks after their arrival, baby number 10 was born first Gagan to be born in Australia. My mum was born in Australia too, baby number 12, four years after their arrival in Australia. My mum's family was very poor in Australia. Arriving with nothing, the family went to work trying to set their life up. Mum's dad William worked three jobs to support the family, at a warehouse, cleaning St Mary's Church and as a doorman at the War Memorial Club in Manly on weekends. The family moved around to different houses in Bagala and Manly, sharing three bedrooms between the 14 family members. The family often had bags of clothes left on their doorstep as donations from other families in the community. When they arrived in Australia, the eldest two Gagan children went to work to contribute to the family income. They were both under 18 years of age, but needed to work to help support the family. The youngest 10 went to school to commence their Australian education. The Gagans worked very hard to get to where they are today. My Uncle Billy and my Uncle John both served Australia in the Vietnam War. My Auntie Jackie was the first of the Gagan children to complete high school. All of the children went on to become skilled workers. And my mum, the youngest in the family, was the first Gagan to get a university degree. The Gagans have moved far and wide along the east coast of Australia. But once a year, at Christmas, we all come together to catch up and celebrate. Despite the social and economic challenges the Gagan family faced throughout their migration experience, it has ultimately led to a better life for them and all of their children, including me.